I am telling my sister wives that I'm leaving Cody. They're all gonna come over and sit down outside because we can only sit outside six feet apart and I'm gonna tell them I'm leaving. This isn't gonna be a surprise to any of them. It's just not. Hello. Hey Mary, how's it going? Good. I think me leaving is very private. Right now, I don't want anyone to know but us. So we're using our phones to film it. This is a private conversation that I need private. I need it to stay private for now. This is hard. It's a hard thing and I want us all five of us to hear it and just us kind of create a little bubble for us and let us just think about it. Okay, so I've needed to talk to you guys for a long time. It's true. But with you moving out of your house, um, I figure now is the best time ever. No secret that Cody and I have been in a rough spot for a long time. And I have decided to leave. I'm gonna leave Cody, just leave. It's a hard decision. I need to make a choice for happiness. I need to make a choice to have joy in my life and peace. And there hasn't been a lot of hope at all until I decided to leave. I feel strongly this is the best choice for me. I was so worried this is what you were going to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I knew you uh, packed his stuff up. I knew, I knew that, but I didn't know how final it was or if it was just a, a break or something. No, it's final. I, I'm in just, in, I'm in shock. I don't really know what to say here. I don't know what to say to her. Um, I can't tell, I don't know, I, get, I can't, it's not really computing, really, it's not really, uh, it's just not making sense right now, I don't know what to say. This is, this is just um, a big <sighs> announcement. Like, I'm not, I, I, I don't even know, I'm just processing at this point. So I, I mean, I, like, I intellectually have known this was coming, but here we are today and it's, it's hard to know something and then to have it actually happen. Uh, I need to talk to you specifically because I do um, plan on moving to Utah and I, you want to rent this house. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> wait. This is a lot all of a sudden. It is a lot. But okay, I mean, so like, is that what, what, Christine, you felt like you had to have this discussion with your sister wives because of Janelle's need to move? Janelle's need to move, definitely. The timing is just, I've been looking for the perfect timing, and there's been no this perfect isn't something timing. something ever a good time. No, no. And so with Janelle saying that she needed to move, I'm like, well, darn it, I guess I should have done it a month ago. Well, okay, so this is not obviously a surprise. You and I have had some discussions right. because, mm -hmm. because you'd kind of said something to my kids and you've yep. texted something. And so, like, I just, I had hope that something would, I don't know. But my biggest concern is I, I have to back up first and just, like, what about the kids? Like, what happens now with the kids? The kids are the hardest part, of course. Um, but it's like the relationship that the kids have with each other that will still be great. I think that this is still family. It's just going to look different. When a family splits up, it's really just not that easy. From my perspective, and maybe this is just because I'm a very black and white personality, if women are not married to the same man, you're not a sister wife anymore. I really, at this point, have no idea what this all means. I can't project myself into the future right this second and even try to imagine what's going to happen and what it's going to look like.
Yeah, I guess I just learned. can't. I just can't imagine after thirty years, like how this looks. Like as far as raising kids go. Well, I don't know everything. Like you've just been so much like the fabric of everything. I mean, Christine is front and center in all my memories. As far as being even way, way back, she was the person who took care of my kids while I worked. There's so much history there, right? And it's been years, decades. So to me, it's almost like Christine's as big a part of my world as Cody is. Are you guys well, sure? I mean, like, that's what's so weird. It's like, are you guys sure? Mm -hmm. Like, you're sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Yes. I've been through a divorce. I know what this means. We're not just talking about three kids and a husband and a wife. We're talking about 18 kids, spouses, grandbabies, and five of us that are all connected and committed to each other and technically married. Do, do you even understand what you're saying? Like, I'm looking at Cody going, are you gonna let this happen? I'm looking at Christine going like, are you sure? Do you know what this means? Because I do. And I only know it from like a smaller level, like with just a monogamous couple and three kids. I mean, like that was absolute hell. And it was for years, years. It still is hard for my kids. It's still hard. I mean, how do we unravel something that's been together for this long? There isn't an unraveling. It's just going to look different. It's, it's not, not an unraveling. Easy, Christine. Huh? It's not that easy. No, it's not. It doesn't just look different. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm not happy right now. I'm not happy with this situation. It makes me angry. You know, when I married Cody, when Janelle married Cody, when Christine married Cody, when Robin married Cody, each one of us made a commitment to each other, like to all of us, you know, that we would love each other, that we would respect each other, that we would stick through it thick and thin and we would work these things out. Because come on, you guys, can't we all just get our heads out of our butts? If you move to Utah, what about Truly? I think Truly's going to be fine. She'll miss everybody, of course, and it's going to be hard. And taking her from Cody is hard. It's hard. Don't get me wrong. She's never going to come back? Oh, no, come you back. can't take her from me because we'll have to have a shared custody. It'll have to be 50-50. I don't know how that works. I'm just not, I'm not gonna sit here and, and have her do this without objecting to it and saying, well, we've gotta work something out for a custody. I don't know what that looks like. This discussion hasn't happened. Well, we talked about that I would be moving and taking Truly. I never said it was okay that you were moving. You just talked about moving. You did say it was okay that we were moving. I we never, had a conversation. About so you would have. You I never said it was leave. okay that you moved. I never made a. I never made a big deal out of it. I just. I, I never th answered that. You never asked if you could move. You said you were moving. I said that I needed you to let me go. Okay. And you I said let okay. You go. That's what I said. I, I agree. You never told me the first time we talked about this that you were going to move. You just said, let me go. And I said, you explained it. I heard what you said, and I understood that. That doesn't mean you just run with Truly, and all of a sudden, Truly's out of my life. The whole issue is, is from the beginning of this, she didn't ask me if I was OK if I didn't stay at her house. She just told me not to. She didn't ask me if it was OK if she moved my stuff out. She just did it. She didn't ask me if it was OK if she moved to Utah and took Truly. She just told me she was going to do it. I can't live in this limbo anymore. This has been limbo, and it's been too painful. I'm going to have to be involved in Truth, Truly's life. And you're, you can't actually stop me from being in her life. So I don't know what your intention was with moving with her. I find it ironic that now he wants to be involved in my kids' lives now that I'm leaving. Now he wants 50-50 time with them. Well, hell, he could have had 50-50 time with us the whole time we lived here. If he wanted 50-50, he should have been around more.
He doesn't get 50-50. He hasn't been around enough for that.